Philippine Podcast on Ospot Syndicate. And Fresh Eyes Podcast under Guerrilla Podcast Syndicate Philippines and the Ospod Syndicate. So for this episode, we're talking about what is Freedom Summit Global. So our guest for today is a creative entrepreneur, a certified life coach. We'll talk about that. What, what is life coach? Welcome to Adelaide. She is a fine arts graduate from University of Santo Tomas. Yo, Tiger. And she is also, <laughs> she is major in advertising arts. Please welcome Celia Alamo Jacob. Welcome to the show. Thank you for your time. Hello, thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Miko. Thank you, thank you for inviting me. Um, it was a, it's a, I was uh, invited by, uh, I was asked by Coach Gendi and I initially said yes. I was interested to guest in your podcast and to talk about Freedom Summit Global. Um, yeah, well, like what you said, I'm a certified life coach. Um, I'm a branding strategist. And I, I was also a former overseas Filipino worker in the Middle East. So a bit of a, a bit of a backstory from 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 me is uh, I was an overseas Filipino worker in the Middle East doing some creatives. I was handling events for uh, big companies, multinational companies. And then I had a bit of a uh, a labor issue uh, in the Middle East and uh, what happened to me back then was uh, it was like around seven years ago I was uh, sent to the deportation jail because of uh, of an issue that I want to leave the leave my work I have I want to I want to already start a new life or transfer to a new company so with that I had a very very uh, unfortunate experience and I was sent to jail and uh, but I won the case so with that, since I won the case, I was able to turn around and make myself a creative entrepreneur. So what used to be an overseas Filipino worker turned online Filipino worker. OFW pa rin. <laughs> I, I'm still an OFW. But then again, I realized that I need to amplify my brand without limits. I want the freedom. So being a creative entrepreneur slash digital entrepreneur made me time, location, and financially independent. So I think that's the basic, uh, uh, basic reason why I, I am advocating freedom here in the Philippines because I feel like most of us, we can have alternative choices. And uh, if only we can uh, meet people, mentors, and coaches around the globe, especially uh, those who already are thriving, who are walking the walk, talking the talk, I think I connect them to, to different communities and help them achieve that, uh, you know, uh, much sought for freedom. So there, it's in, 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 a, in, a, in a quick, uh, so in a nutshell, I feel like my, 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 my basic why, my, the, the why, my, why I'm doing what I'm doing is because I was shackled Literally, not literally, I was in the jail cell, so I was shackled. My freedom was taken away from me. And I realized even the, even if I had a good life back there, that it can easily be taken away from you, especially if you're in a different country, especially with a different language. You know, the language barrier is a, a bit of an issue also. When I was able to, you know, get out of that uh, situation, some people vouched for my credibility. Uh, I got back. I... I you know, I realized that I can do something uh, instead of moving or sulking around and thinking, why, why did this happen to me? I'm a professional back there. I studied, I studied, I connected, I collaborated, and it led me to this. So uh, my passion uh, was partnered with a very, very strong purpose. And I created a plan in my mind, executed it. Um, in my mind, created meaningful relationships. And I was very, very intentional that I want to be in this place uh, at this time that uh, I will not, I, I have a choice not to go to other country anymore to, 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 you know, to earn dollars because I'm earning dollars even if I'm in the Philippines. So basically that's it. It's a bit long of an introduction on my side, but I, I really have to give you a backstory of why I'm doing what I'm doing. So I hope uh, people would understand that Freedom is literally something that is very, very important to me because I had that specific experience. If somebody can do this to me, you know, um, others who are not 
as you know, I'm, because I, me, I feel I'm very empowered. I've been doing so many things uh, in my life since I was in college up until now. And, and when I realized that inside that uh, place, uh, there are people who doesn't even know how to defend themselves, I realized that I have to pay it forward and give people alternative. You created this Freedom Summit Global? It's maybe something at the back of my mind. It's not necessarily something that made me realize, oh, I want to create Freedom Summit. Freedom Summit is already, I think, the culmination of everything because it came last year. But I was, uh, I was released in uh, 2012 and um, I got back 2013. And what I was doing is I was like defining my grind. I was like really thinking, what is it that I'm really good at? And I feel that I'm good at branding. I feel that I'm good at design. I feel that I can help you amplify your message or your brand to a certain level. So that is what I did. I tried to, you know, um, attend workshops. I attended Manila workshop. I attended workshop from different places, which helps me meet other people also. At that time, uh, I don't know what's collaboration. Um, millennial at that time is a word na I don't really, you know, have any idea when I was uh, abroad. It's more of like, we're not talking about these things. Eh. But when I got back to working spaces, millennial people that you have to, to work with, yeah, you know, those are the things that I have to learn, um, you know, um, you know, um, understanding at a certain point because um, coming from a corporate uh, setup before which uh, gave me like what uh, an eight year stint almost a decade of stint um, hindi na familiar, I'm not familiar anymore with what's happening in the Philippines so when I realized that I had to go back um, yeah talagang, uh, I, I tried to ano, uh, 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 make sure that I learned the ropes and learning the ropes, I was able to understand the, the possibility that I can have freedom pala if I work as a freelancer, if I work as a digital entrepreneur. I don't have to go around pala different countries in order for me to earn dollars because I can easily ask for dollar, you know, um, you know uh, compensation if uh, I'm doing this work even in the comforts of my own home. Now, Freedom Summit came in because I was a guest for an overseas Filipino workers um, summit um, two years ago. And uh, I met a guy who was also um, setting up a summit. And from there, we created several online works, uh, live workshops. And we got um, influencers, we got mentors, and we decided, okay, let's not, because we're doing it anyways, let's finally make a big summit. And uh, with that summit, I was able to go around different countries. Uh, I was able to first we had two sum we had summits uh, two day summit here in the Philippines, and then we flew to KL. After three or four days, we flew to Singapore. Then we flew to Bali, and then to Chiang Mai. What's the reason why we went to those places? Those are the places where the digital entrepreneurs and the digital nomads are uh, staying. So we wanted to immerse ourselves with entrepreneurs are working, um, you know, in, in the comforts of their own home or, you know, um, in the beach or in, in whatever places that they, they choose in what, whatever island. Because when we're in Chiang Mai, there are so many nomads there. When we're in Bali while in the beach, we met so many communities also. So it gave me like the idea that I can also bring it here in the Philippines and uh, I can also uh, give alternative you know, options to people who would want this type of lifestyle. So now, no more uh, going to MRTs for me. Although I, I'm not really like for when, I, when I talk to people, no more lining up to whatever because you can start your work the moment you woke, wake up, um, just you know, uh, prepare whatever, and then set up a small office space and whatever, and then you have your your business, you have your career, you have your office. You can be sustainable as long as you maintain your credibility. Oh, okay. that, that's fantastic. So, on let's say on a layman term, how is the Freedom Summit Global can help? like small business or entrepreneur that is very afraid or very not into online or social media or anything digital marketing? Okay, that's a very, very good question, Miko. How can Freedom Summit Global help you? First, we can help you connect to the right coaches, to the right mentors that you need 
for what for the particular passion or your skill that you want to develop because freedom summit is going to help you pivot if you're a traditional entrepreneur if you're somebody who's uh, into corporate for several years and you need a uh, a sudden you know a uh, quick fix because you got laid off or if you are an overseas filipino worker who wants to prepare for their your grand coming home freedom summit global has a roster of uh, coaches and um, mentors who can help you you know um, embrace the digital lifestyle not only use digital marketing uh, like uh, if you have tools you're going to use it no you're going to embrace it you're going to we are going to help you understand the whole concept and understand how you're going to integrate it to whatever business you're 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 doing right now if it's a traditional business because like what they said it's it's being said from before that if your business is still a traditional business even without the pandemic you're you're bound to uh, to to lose some you know some some things um especially being sustainable because every everybody is uh hopping into digital na and uh, most of the time um people don't want to go out na eh. as long as you're, you you kept a, a credible ano you know uh, personality or credible uh, business uh, uh value sa clients don't need na to see each other because for me most of my business uh business uh, meetings some of the business ventures that I do I do it online so that's one thing and we can support you uh if you have like a brand that you want to um you know amplify or if you have if you have like something of an advocacy that you would want to spread this is uh, freedom summit is the is the platform because it's a live and online platform um that helps people uh become a voice not just an echo this is what i always say and um that last 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 event that i had we had guests from the secret the law of attraction so we had uh, some guests from from uh, some uh, we have uh, Travis Fox an Emmy award uh, winner who's also um, an architect of being coach so we, we we have those people who are willing to reach out for people who wants to pivot who wants to thrive who wants to understand what what are the possibilities for them if they embrace the digital lifestyle so that's how freedom summit would help thank you so much uh, so our listener and to our audience as well just just to let you know, Celia is the CEO and the founder of Freedom Summit Global. So if anyone want to have a chat with her, we'll, on, at the end of the show, we'll, we'll ask her about what her contact details so that if you're interested on joining the Freedom Global Summit, and we'll, Celia will let you know how you can do that. COVID-19 is a great disruptor from the small business and also to the online entrepreneur you know um covid 19 is re- a real game change you know um there are so many things that we have planned before we have already put especially i'm in the events industry and live events that is so um there are so many things that we are not prepared um even if we feel that we're already in the digital world, we are never, nobody will be prepared for something like this, you know, uh, this, this amount of challenge. Um, and um, I think uh, it really disrupted the community. It, disrupt, it disrupted how things are being done, especially the business sphere. We are not prepared for something that will um, stop us from meeting others because most of the time, uh, the, 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 the last, the last uh, phase that we will do when we're doing negotiations is to meet the person that they're going to have venture with. Even in a coffee shop, even in a co-working space, even in a, a, you know, but now there's nothing like that. So the COVID gave Freedom Summit a bit of a scare because we, we had this uh, planned uh, live event and um, it was canceled. Uh, we already had preparations for so many things and we, we, we dropped it all and so many people are already uh, booked they already booked their tickets just to go here to speak this is something that is a bit of a challenge for 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 especially for people who are more focused on live events and industry that you have to see people face to face then again because uh, people especially filipinos are very resilient 
<laughs> we were able to, you know, uh, look past through that. Kahit na uh, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a game changer and and uh, unexpected. Mm-hmm. Filipinos were able to look at it in something more of um, a challenge that uh, we're always used to because we're used to floods, we're used to eruptions, we're used to so many things, so many issues that this. Though this is a very very big uh, issue, is something that we feel that will also will just pass. Even if we, even if we feel like uh, it's challenging our careers, it's challenging our, our our life, our business. We still feel that we will rise up. So yeah, COVID is uh, a big you know disruptor for many businesses, especially the traditional business. But then again, we were able to rise above it because of the Bayanian spirit. I don't know if um, some people might not remember, but uh, Bayanihan is, you know, like the, the, the representation is uh, you have a bahay kubo, you have a small house, and then you put some, some pole there and all of the Philippines, all of the people will carry it one by one. So the load is uh, carried easily. It's more bearable because most of the people from different communities are supporting one another. At this point in time, there are more sellers than buyers because in online in the online world before, we're always selling, selling, selling in the e-commerce and whatever. Now, those who are sellers are also the buyers. So I think even if you don't need it, just just to help, this is what we're doing. Because like last time, I was like saying like. Because when you buy to a small business, there's an actual person who is dancing, doing the happy dance. <laughs> you know? So that's it. I feel like even if it's a very challenging, um, still we were able to rise above it. Yeah, so I agree with you because in, in Australia, they do a campaign to support local business because of what's happening. Because their, um, their operations, some of them lost their job because of, of the COVID-19. Their income is less than 50, it's used to be 100%. So they do like a support local campaign. So what do you think how the small business adapt to this new normal? For me, um, I think the small business initially, because there was a time that we all have to stay at home, right? So that's the time where they have to parang pick the brain of everyone in the family. So how we're going to do it? How we're going to tra- transition? How we're going to pivot? How we're going to make our small carinderia or our barber shop? Or I think the the, the blessing or the silver line uh, of all these uh, um, challenges is there's your family with you in your home na you're all together and you can ask everyone. And uh, I think uh, what happened is everyone pitched in, especially in the small business, like your son, your daughter, your kuya, your lola, your ate. Okay, let's make this. Let's make, let's make empanada. Let's make, let's make this or let's help whatever or let's uh, uh, prepare food for, for frontliners. So, you still had the chance. They, the small business still had the chance. I think more than ever, small business are really booming because most were closed. That's number one. And who are you going to go to? So, of course, you're going to go to someone, maybe your relative or your sister or someone that you feel they're safe uh, to buy food from. And uh, instead of buying it from a multinational company, I'll just buy it from my sister. I'll just buy it from this. Because... They're trying to thrive. So I think this is how the small business are doing right now. First, they tried to understand what's happening. Then they adapted to the digital platforms. They, they tried to understand what are the tools that they can use, uh, how they can ship the things, how they can um, create you know, autoresponders so that uh, they won't be busy responding while cooking, while doing all this stuff. And then they also had the chance to learn, to learn from the free online courses that is offered all around. So that, that's, I think, how the small business tried to adapt. Little by little, like what I said, uh, inch by inch, life is hard. But, you know, if you're going to, uh, if you're going to, you know, uh, try to uh, tiptoe, because uh, if you tiptoe, and uh, try to test the waters, maybe this is for me, maybe this is something that I can try, then you will have a chance to, to be more sure or to validate the idea that, yes, I can do this even if there's pandemic, 
even if I'm not really that uh, good at, at this particular thing, somebody would support me. Small business went to different communities for support also. We go back to the Freedom Summit Global. So one of your team is Road to Freedom. Well, what does it mean? Road to Freedom, uh, because last time, the, the first Freedom Summit is for digital nomads. So the digital nomads are, are, are people who can work in, in any, uh, wherever. So that's the locked up lifestyle. So even if you're in, a, in an island, as long as there's, there's Wi-Fi, even if you're um, in, in a place where you see that nobody, nobody has like, access to, what, uh, to, your, to, to your office. Digital nomads are those who are going around and still you know, um, defining their grind and getting paid. So with, with the second summit, what we did is we tried to um, think of another group or category or, or, or people that we can help. So we already talked about digital nomads last year. Now we're talking about digital entrepreneurs. These are the entrepreneurs who are not very proficient with uh, all the platforms but have, have some idea already of how to you know, uh, pivot in that uh, type of uh, business so we are targeting the digital entrepreneurs the freelancers and those who want to transition and the uh, road to freedom is uh, is is the team we, we use it as a team because initially what we're thinking at that time is we're going to do freedom talks in different regions but covid happened so what we just did is we're just doing it online so the idea is in one region, in one place, we're going to talk about our advocacy of teaching people how to achieve time, location, and financial independence. Like one region or one place or driving one road, one journey at a time. So that's basically how we coined Road to Freedom. We just want to you, you know, give a path for those people who would really want to transition to the digital lifestyle. So you're saying you, your next summit will be coming December. Yeah. Because of this um, coronavirus, the COVID-19, are you also thinking on the mel- mental health side? A lot of uh, people now is working from home. Me, I'm working from home. Uh, my wife is working from home for almost four months now. <laughs> so it, it's also going to be affect the mental health of other people and also especially small business because they're not able to go out because there's a lockdown. Is that going to be part of the next summit that you're looking in December? Yeah, actually, uh, thank you for asking that. Just uh, a while ago, I was talking to one of uh, a fellow life coach uh, because I'm uh, like Coach Jendi. I have... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm part of a group of uh, certified life coaches, global life coaches. And um, um, we talked about anxiety, depression, and how they're dealing with what's happening. And I think that's really a very, very uh, good topic for the coming uh, Freedom Summit. Also, we're going to touch on uh, mental health, especially to people who already lost so much uh, because of the pandemic. And... Um, Maybe give them some strategies, insider tips, and you know blueprints maybe of uh, how others were able to transition. And uh, plus the fact that uh, this is also an advocacy of so many life coaches, how they can help someone have you know a, a more bearable life at this time of pandemic. Because uh, like in my previous interview, there are people who are so focused on their job so this is very new to them and they don't know anymore um how to adapt because uh, they're like they're auto programmed to do whatever it is that they're doing so this is something that i think we should touch on our december um, freedom summit again because so many people would learn a lot from mentors and coaches who can give them some good tips and strategies to help them so that's a uh... Well, that's a fantastic um, um, topic as well, so that we can teach um, small business how to. Yeah. Cause some because some small business doesn't they doesn't care about their mental health. They just work hard and they don't they don't know that they already 
already under distress. Um, they yes. don't know what's the signal on doing why. Every, so that's a good a good topic, and I'll wait for that in December. My last question is that: What is your advice to people? I said coming home or lost a job, but want to start up a business, but they don't know where to start, especially with the COVID-19, it's hard, it's limit. What is your advice to them? Okay, so I'm a passion to profit coach. So this is, I think, my advice, always, always my advice, even if there's no pandemic, I've always been telling this to some of the overseas Filipino workers. Find a passion that you love, something that you're good at, something that you would want to do, something that even if you're sleeping, you would remember, oh, I have to do this. Even if you're still sleepy, you will wake up and feel that uh, this is something that is important that you would want to do it. And even if you're not paid to do it, you will do it because you love it. So find something like that. Find that something. And then think of your purpose. Why are you doing what you're doing? Yung bang, uh, if, it, if people will, will think of, um, bakit ka gumigising sa umaga? Para saan? So those are the things that you should think of when you're looking for your purpose because you already know what you want. You already know what you're good at. But why is it that you're doing what you're doing right now? So your why, your biggest why. Think of what is your why. Because if it's just money, then if you're not, if you're not, you know, if you're, if you're, you know, if you're not getting the right amount uh, uh, when you start, then immediately you will you feel i don't want to do this anymore it's it, it has to have a deeper purpose why you're doing that because you know um to start something again you have to feel that you really need to be uh, uh partnered with passion and purpose now when you have that you already have your what which is your passion you already have your why which is your purpose think of your how Think of how you're going to do it. So another P, think of your plan. You cannot always think and think of passion, passion, passion. I'll do this, I'll do this because I love this, because this will make my heart happy, this sparks joy. You cannot always do that. You have to think of a plan to make you sustainable. Because if you're not sustainable, all those passion, all this purpose, all these things that you would want to have the community, you would want to pay for it, you cannot continue it without a very, very clear plan in your mind. So having the what as a passion, why as your purpose, how as your plan, then I think you will get the profit. So the profit or your success will follow because passion, purpose, executed with the right plan will never fail. Because at the end of the day, your success is your success. It doesn't mean that success is money or success is is being popular because our version of success is all different. So if you have that specific purpose and you achieve it, then you're successful already. So for the people who are trying to transition, my advice to you, find whatever it is that you want to do Yung before, because you're working and uh, and uh, you don't have a choice, okay, now you don't have work. So now you're open. Remember uh, J.K. Rowling before? This is uh, one of my favorite, the writer, uh, the, the, the author, the writer for Harry Potter. J.K. Rowling said, rock bottom is the solid foundation on which she rebuilt his li- her life. So sobra, eh? she, she, she lost her job, she lost her husband, she, she got rejected so many but then again, like like what we're doing, people like us, we fall seven times, we have we stand up eight. We are prepared to stand up, stand up again, fail forward, do it again, make sure that we do it right this time. So it's to lessen the failure, because failure is important, you have to create a plan. Always create a plan for you to go back, look at the blueprint, how should I do this, why... No need, you know, even if I'm a branding uh, strategist, don't don't think about what's my logo, what's my no. Think of your why. Why I'm doing this? Is this for my legacy to my kids? Is this something that I want, you know, people to remember me when I'm not here anymore? Is this something because I was uh, blessed with this life? I want to give back. 
or is this something uh, that uh, just makes my heart happy? So if you have that, then uh, you'll never go wrong because um, you will always be fired up with a passion and a purpose. So I think that's a very, 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 very clear um, tip that I can give them. Plus, of like what I said before, uh, tiptoe if you must, but take that step. Because like when I'm talking every time, I always tell them that if you take that step, you will know if it's yes or no. The answer can be yes or no. But if you don't start, if you don't take that step, it will always be no. The answer will always be no. If you don't go out of your comfort zone and think that uh, if you're always thinking, no, no, this is not the right time, I need the perfect timing, there will never be a perfect timing. You will always have to find a way to, you know, gather all the courage and um, learn. Try to, you know, um, in, in one of my workshops I attended, they said, ready, fire, aim. So, hindi ready, aim, fire, ah. Ready, fire, aim. Like, this time now, ready, fire, aim. Pagkakamali, do again. Uh, if, if, if something's not working, well, find a way to make it work. Just start. Because the moment you start, that's the moment that you will realize, oh, I can do this pala. And then when you realize that you cannot do this, I can do another one. And then the moment will not pass you by. That's it. Wow, thank you so much. That's a fantastic advice. So it's our <laughs> small business, so our startup, so, so um, people who start trying to build their business or starting off. So well, hope you learn a lot with Celia about that. So before we close our um, podcast, can you invite them to your Freedom Summit Global? And, and if they someone want to have a chat with you, how they can contact you. Okay. So thank you. Thank you, Miko. Thank you for this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful opportunity. For the OFW out there, I am a personal branding coach. If you need to transition from your corporate life or your, or your expat life to a digital entrepreneur life, like what I said, from overseas Filipino workers to online Filipino worker, or you just want to elevate your brand or amplify your message, contact me. Um, look for Brown Roots PH in LinkedIn. I hope we can collaborate, Nico, because uh, that's something that I would also want, uh, you know, to explore. And uh, yeah, um, you can ask me anything. Don't worry. I have, I always have a free, you know, um, uh, session. If you just want to uh, ask a, a possible uh idea if you want to validate something maybe you want to think of uh, an idea that uh, you can you can try um, you can ask me I've been working with several multinational companies for for several years I've been in the advertising for more than 25 years so yeah just go to me look for coach cell uh, Brownwoods Bruce I have my website uh, www.brownwoodsbruce.com you can uh, check my 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 collab, my works there my, some of the testimonials from different global speakers um yeah and uh just don't forget that uh whatever is happening right now these are all temporary whatever that we're experiencing as long as we're with our family as long as uh, we keep the faith whatever faith that we believe we believe in because uh, we all have our different you know our beliefs but keep that faith that uh, all these things will, will pass and uh, we will rise about this alright thank you so much so to our listener and audience so I'm gonna put all the link on the description so uh, we'll put all the website of uh, Celia so that you can contact her as well so thank you so much for your time Celia for, for the podcast and don't forget to like subscribe and click the bell button also this is a production of guerrilla podcast syndicate philippines which is a podcast for filipino overseas and the ospod syndicate which is the podcast hub for australian entrepreneurship thank you so much see you next week again for another episode thank you have a good day if you enjoy this episode be sure to subscribe so you're notified when a new episode is posted in Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or via RSS. While you're at it, 
If you found value in this show, rate and review this podcast and share it with your friends. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. And if you want to know more, check out www.guerillapodcast.com.au or guerillapodcast.com.ph. A Guerilla Podcast Syndicate Production.